back to my channel. So welcome to another episode of Quarantine with me. And so today we are going to make our pajamas work a little harder for us. In fact, if you have not been getting your cost per wear for all of your pajamas, now is a good time to do so. And this piece is the perfect example of how you can make your pajamas work so much harder for you. As you know, on this channel, sustainability matters, which means we focus on natural fibers. I try my very best to wear whatever synthetic pieces I have in my wardrobe to death. So throughout this video, you are likely to see many sustainable tips. These are tips that would help you in your transition if you choose to do so. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Find some inspiration and I'll see you in the next one. So let's do this guys. This pajama set has been around as usual like most pieces in my closet for over 12 years now and it's an extra large piece and I love it that way because this piece is polyester and as you have seen from some of the pieces in part one polyester does cling to you and it's uncomfortable especially on hot humid nights and that is one reason I don't necessarily get my cost per wear for these polyester pajamas because they are uncomfortable at nights and on hot summer days so most times if I do get anywhere from my pieces is when I wear them around the house like right now and when it's a bit chilly and even then polyester is not the greatest fabric to sleep in because it really harbors odor it makes you sweat it's clingy Ugh, it's like a girlfriend that would not go away but yeah I still make good use of it around the house during this quarantine season because this is as I've said it's extra large so at least I can bear with it and as you know I'm wearing these pieces to death it's either they kill me or I kill them so <laughs> it is definitely one of the ways I'm trying to get my cost per wear this combo is not necessarily a pyjama but it's a piece that I do wear around the house almost like a pyjama set I also wear them outside of the house as well because I don't confine my pieces to just the inside if I could get my cost for wear wearing them outside and that is exactly the message I'm trying to convey to you here you can wear these pieces if you feel like as pajamas because it's loose it's gorgeous it looks great it makes you look chic sophisticated i am sure that your significant others would appreciate it so the floral look oh my god i just love this floral piece it's absolutely stunning it really looks expensive it actually reminds me of dolce and Gabbana pieces so I love the aesthetic of this particular piece and it's a piece that has been around at least the kimono has been around for about three years the pants it's a bit older it's about five years old and the top is about 12 years old you have seen the fabric composition of the top already in part one and guys these pieces are no different when it comes to fabric composition they are all a hundred percent polyester which is sad but it's the reality of most pyjama pieces or most pieces that are 
in the fast fashion industry. So it's so important that whenever you're considering buying in the future, to definitely reject polyester because during this quarantine season, it definitely didn't solve me well. So you can definitely mix and match as I have done here with this green PJ top. I love the striped detail of this top. This was given to me by a friend as a gift about 19 years ago now guys and I've, I've definitely worn this top because it is a short piece so I can just wear the short piece to bed like that so I love this piece a lot and guys you know the facts about polyester it's definitely one of my pet peeves in the fashion industry because so many items are made from it and it's so destructive sorry to interrupt guys but just a quick note hi guys if you just so happen to just click on my video you are new please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when i post new videos and most importantly guys it's free thank you so much for subscribing love ya let's get back to the video now on to the fun part of this well for me this is the fun part because i get to dress these pieces up a bit more and show you ways in which you can actually wear these posts quarantine but for now for you to look pretty when you're on the balcony maybe getting some fresh air sipping your tea having breakfast even and of course when you're waving to your neighbors you do want to look a little bit chic you can't make your neighbors think that you are some slob right you still want to look really pretty when you're outside so this is my way of judging my pieces up a bit i like belts i love to define my waist so belts are great accessories for doing so even a scarf you can definitely cinch your waist with a scarf but for me these are just perfect because you can run outside you can go for a walk even around the block wearing these pieces because you look chic <laughs> and as i may have previously mentioned the animal print is a timeless print it's not going anywhere it comes back almost every season in one form or the other and i have so many animal prints in my closet in skirts dresses if you would like to see a lookbook probably after quarantine is over let me know and i'll definitely share it with you but for now you can just your pajama animal print items up up your pajama game guys and double belt i love double belting and i'm combining the leopard with the zara belt and i love the way it looks some of you may not love that but for me it's my thing and i absolutely love it for those who don't just keep it as simple as this but in the meantime i'm heading outside for my tea actually drinking my tea outside it makes it cool a bit faster so i can enjoy it a bit quicker <laughs> and going on my balcony gives me the opportunity to not only enjoy my tea but at the same time i get to look chic i get fresh air and it alleviates some of my anxieties and my sadness and any fear that i have of my loved ones getting sick so i really do hope that you can find inspiration as usual i'm trying to attract the attention of my neighbors but people are a bit sad and they're not looking around <laughs> 
but we are living in unusual times guys and everyone deals with it differently thank you so much for watching and remember always love yourself and accept your perfect imperfections because they are what make you unique and drop dead gorgeous love you and i'll see you in the next one